Welcome to Progressive Education Society's Modern College of Pharmacy, Nigdi, Pune. Dr. Bhushan Pimpre. In this video, we will discuss about the morphology and microscopy of ginger rhizomes. Ginger is generally known as unbleached ginger in uh, European pharmacopoeia. It is obtained either as scrapped or unscrapped rhizomes of Zinziber officinale belonging to family Zinziberaceae. Scrapped means peeled and unscrapped means unpeeled uh, rhizomes. That means the, if the skin is taken out, it is called as scrapped ginger and if the skin remains intact in that case it is unscrapped rhizome the major chemical constituents are gingerols shogaol and ginger diol these components give a pungent taste to the ginger whereas the other components are 1 to 2 percent of volatile oil because of which the ginger gets its fragrance then various resinous materials are also present which uh, constitute to around 5 to 8 percent of the dry weight besides uh, starch and mucilage are also present as uh, in the ginger the cheap medicinal uses uh, for which it is uh, used in various traditional systems of medicines are uh, its carminative that is uh, it expels the gases of, of the GI tract and it is a stimulant GI stimulant uh, it stimulates the gastrointestinal juices or digestive juices it is commonly used as anti-emetic in order to prevent uh, vomiting uh, in case of uh, motion sickness that is due to traveling if anybody is suffering from uh, vomiting he can use a pinch of ginger powder the same can be used for uh, in case of pregnancy because in the earlier trimester first trimester of the pregnancy uh, vomiting and nausea is generally experienced so to relieve to get the relief from it ginger powder can be used further the ms is uh, due to certain anti-cancer drugs certain anti-cancer drugs they do have a side effect of vomiting or ms so ginger can be ginger powder can be used as an adjunct therapy uh, along with the anti-cancer treatment it is a good digestive because it stimulates various gi fluids then in certain pharmacological uh, research papers it has been observed to have an anti-inflammatory property and it is anti-platelet aggregator which uh, prevents the platelets from coming closer to each other it also has uh, anti-ulcer property which is usually attributed to the ginger oil and sugar oil con components of the ginger the color of ginger is uh, if it is an unpeeled rhizome in that case it is light brown and for a peeled one it will be buff color odor is agreeable and pleasant aromatic taste is pungent size it ranges from 7 to 15 centimeter in length to 1 to 1.5 centimeter in diameter shape it is irregular amoeboidal or cylindrical if the short pieces are concerned those are slightly cylindrical special features the ginger throughout its body has longitudinal striations which are fibrous and it besides it also has transverse ridges uh, up, up, uh, which indicates the in nodes and internodes of the rhizome if you want to take a transverse section <coughs> hold the ginger in this way the fresh ginger should be used for taking 
transverse section and should be cut in the perpendicular manner in order to get the circular TS. There is no need to have a circular TS, even a single wedge shaped portion will do, but it should have the cell layers ranging from the core towards the center. The major uh, regions in as far as microscopy is concerned, uh, the outermost region is cork. Just below the cork, the cork also comprises of certain two layers like uh, outer cork and inner cork. The cells of inner cork are stacked one above the other whereas the cells of outer cork are arranged in a staggered format. The next larger region is of cortex which houses more amount of starch in it. Besides, it also has um, oleoresin cells that secretes the oleoresin, xylem and certain uh, calcium oxalate crystals as well. There is a single layer beneath the cortex called as endodermis which is a characteristic feature of almost all the monocot roots or rhizomes. So uh, this separates the cortex from the pith region or the ground tissue. The lowermost or innermost region is called as the pith tissue wherein the cells are very loosely arranged and they also contain certain amount of xylem, starch grains and oleoresin cells. Staining reagents are concerned. Uh, Sudan red imparts uh, reddish or a pinkish tint towards the cork region, peripheral cork region. Whereas, uh, uh, in order to stain the xylem or the lignified tissue, fluoroglucinol HCl can be used, which uh, stains pink color to the lignified area. Now, the xylem present in the cortex as well as in the ground or pith region is stained pink and also the single endodermal layer single endodermal cell layer is also lignified and gets pink stain these are the details about the microscopy from the book of indian herbal drug microscopy wherein uh, the outer core inner core followed by cortex region uh, housing the oleoresin cells, fibrovascular bundles containing starch grains, xylems, xylem fibers are noted. Just below that is a single layer of endodermis, then the entire ground tissue comprising of vascular bundle, oleoresin cells and starch grains. This is the live photograph of uh, ginger wherein the outer cork is slightly harder or uh, compressed and staggered cells they don't allow the light to pass through them that easily so appears to be darker in shade whereas the inner cork have have the cells arranged in a stack uh, one above the other stacked one above the other like other corks as far as the cortex is concerned, the cortex has, as we have discussed, the xylem vessels. The, there are certain uh, starch grains, uh, um, sorry, numerous starch grains and oleoresin cells. We'll see one by one. Uh, this is the oleoresin cell. Uh, you can find numerous oleoresin cells within, in the cortex and which secretes the oleoresin like containing shogaol and ginger, ginger oil. This is the xylem vessel, important in uh, propulsion of water or transport of water. Then these are the starch grains, starch granules, which are noted easily uh, in the TS of the ginger. These are uh, roughly um drop shaped or you can say um muscle shaped then the second last region is the endodermis which is usually of a single layer and you can find uh, it um, 
ideally arranged as a concentric circle in the entire TS, but as far as a short uh, section is concerned, a single layer of cell can be observed, which uh, have the cells in uh, tangential elongation. Last, the innermost region is called as pith, containing loose cells having similar uh, architecture as that of the cortex. And the xylem vessel or xylem vascular bundle and oleoresin cells and certain starch grains. The picture on the left side denotes the longitudinal section accidentally taken for ginger because it, it it is possible that you may take sometimes the longitudinal section. In the longitudinal section, the xylem appears to be um, having a spiral thickening and these are the, the, the spiral uh, ring-like or sorry spring-like structure is the thickening of the xylem vessel. So this is all about the microscopy of ginger rhizome.